Judy? Yes. I have a question about uh, registering. Um, why is it that I have to put in my um, address every time I come in to you? I thought once you have the address in and the telephone number and all that stuff, that was it. It should fill it for you. I'm not sure why. You could simply use the link you've been using. Um, can we talk about it after class and yes. maybe I can help oh, you yes. out with that? Yes, yes. Okay, all right. Are we ready, uh, Rita? Yes. Okay, yes, all right, everybody. Let's go ahead. I'm going to mute everybody, but you know that I love having you ask questions, so please unmute as you need to. But we'll begin with our salute. Feet together. Make a fist. Cover it. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to our class today. All right, so we have a terrific move today, but we also have all the brush new sequence from last week. So we're going to take our time to do what we need to do. And if we need to move today's move partly into next week, we will, just to let you know. Um, it's, a move, it's a move that has a lot of pieces to it. Um, for our sort of beginning combination of warm up and just thinking about some basics, I wanted to do a little exercise with you to help you think about one thing we haven't talked about, which is our body height versus being down. So let's start by doing the opening, all right? We'll do it together, just the opening. So I'm facing you and we go in the same direction as two arms. So your feet are shoulder width apart and they're facing forward. This is our prepare position, right? We get into prepare and we have our hands at our side and our head up. So everybody should feel pretty comfortable with this starting position now. And all we're going to do is do the opening, all right? So we rotate our arms and our palms are forward, and then we lift them up to shoulder height. And we come down, upper arm, elbow, and then the hands. And when you finish, your palms are in front of you with your fingers forward, and your body is still upright. So in Tai Chi, when we're standing, and you can relax your arms, when we're standing upright, we do not have our knees locked. You know this from the beginning. If I, I don't know if you can see, but if I lock my knee, do you see how it kind of pushes out there? That's locking it. I don't want to do that. I want to have a little natural bend. Everything straight in Tai Chi has a little bend, all right? So we're going to do that again, and I want you to be aware of your body being up, all right? So your arms are at your side. Opening. Rotate and lift. And notice you're standing up, natural little bend in your knees, and your arms come down. And you are still standing up, all right? Now we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to do a move that is not part of our Tai Chi form, but I want you to feel something different, all right? We're going to start in the same way, standing up. So rotate and bring your arms up. And now when you come down, as the arms come down, bend your knees down, bend down. Doesn't have to be much, all right? And when I get here, my knees are bent, but my quad, my hip area is still open. My knees are over my feet, all right? So you're bent. Let's do that again. We're up. Now make yourself up. Rotate, lift, and then as you come down, bend a little bit. And so when you come down, you're bent. And from here, just wave your arms up and stand up. And now you're up. Do you feel that? You're different. Now come down. Claw open, knees out over the direction of your feet and then come up. And let's do it one more time. Feel the up and feel the down. And then come up and let's finish with opening the way we would do it. Stay up, but bring your arms down. Up, but bring your arms down. And then we'll just put them back to the side. So in our Tai Chi form, most of the form, we are not all the way up, even with the little bend, but we have some bend in our knees. And we haven't talked about it much because when you're first learning, 
and you're learning all what you're trying to do with your arms and your legs and your feet and your eyes, it's, it's a lot to try to manage that up and down. But we're going to just start to talk about it so it gets into your mind. And we're going to do the footwork for a left brush knee after opening. And I will do my best to mirror you here. It might not be the best moves. I'm not as skilled, but I'll do it with you, okay, so that I'm mirroring you. So let's start from the beginning. We'll do opening. And then the footwork, we're not going to even worry about the upper body. Footwork. So I raise my arms up. My body is up. Stay upright. Stay upright and bring your arms down. Now we're going to do the lower body. The first thing we do is we open the right foot to the corner with our whole body turning, but we do not go down yet. So turn and tell, ask yourself, is your body still upright? Okay, let's go from here, just from this position. Turn to the corner, is your body still up? Now you're going to move your weight in towards your right foot, follow that direction. The left foot, heel comes up and you bend both knees. This is your bent position. Now I get my weight fully on that right foot so I can pick up the left foot, put the heel forward onto the heel edge and I move heel ball toe and I bend the knee and there is my bow step and my front leg is bent, and my back leg is fairly straight, and I'm in my down position, all right? Every time you go into a bow step, you are in a down position. All right, let's do that one more time. What we're thinking about is the up versus down. So I'm at the end of opening. Your body is up, right? End of opening. Open to the corner with the right foot. Your body is still up. Move your weight and then bend, bend. So you're sitting a little bit, pick up the right foot, put it heel touch forward and move into your bow step. All right, and the front leg is bent and the left back leg is mostly straight, all right? If you are doing it like this, so I'm here, if you are turning and bending here, that's too soon, all right? That's too soon. All right, so why are we doing this? We're doing this because in the form, we're supposed to stay at an even height the best we can. You have to learn how to do this. And there are moves that it's easy to go up and down on. And the maneuver of today is one that's very easy to do that in, but all the moves we're doing, it's possible to do that in. Um, with the brush knees, with everything, it's easy to kind of throw yourself up instead of staying down. So when we practice today, I'm gonna to ask you to think about that just a little bit, all right? Okay, we're going to be reviewing the brush knee sequence, so it'll be a good chance for you to practice that as well, all right? So that's when we're bodies up, we have just a natural little bend in our knee that it's not locked, but when we bend, we go into some position that is our bent position. Now, some of you might have a deeper bend than others, and it doesn't matter. It can be very small. It's what your body wants to do that is comfortable that you can keep your knees and hips aligned. All right? Okay, any questions about up and down just for that much, just to introduce that little concept? All right, any questions about that? All right, well, you're going to see today when I call out certain moves, I'm going to ask you to pay attention to that, all right? So we last week did the brush knee sequence and we're going to practice that uh, today before we go on. And so let's go ahead and start from white crane. Now in this sequence, I'm practicing facing forward and mirroring you. So those of you who are brand new can see more. If you already know the sequence and wanna deepen your own practice and do it in the correct direction, you may certainly do so, all right? So if we're going to do brush knee, we are starting from white crane. And in white crane, you are in an empty stance, all right? So your empty stance, you have your right foot back and your left foot forward on the ball of the foot. The, uh, let me make sure I'm in the right position. I'm mirrored, I have to make sure I'm in the right position, okay. Um, and so your back foot's at 45 degrees, your right foot's on the ball of the foot, and you have, you're on one, 
side, each side of a center line, which is going to be very important today. Your right hand is over your head with the palm out, and your left hand is pushing down, okay? This right hand, if you put your hand in front of you, that you see your palm, that's your ward off hand, your connecting hand. All you're doing here is you're rotating up over your head, all right? So this is your position. You have 70% in the back and about 30% in the front. We're going to do left brush knee. What happens? We rotate. You see your right palm and the left palm is to the side. We swing down with the right, up with the left as we push back. We swing and we step out with the heel when our two arms get to the side. As I move forward, I sweep out. And then I strike as I bend my knee. Okay, now we're at hamstrings the loop. I'm on my bow step going to an empty stance. Someone grabs me. I yield forward, pushing off that back foot a little bit. I bring the back foot in, still at an angle. I rotate my left foot, push back, rotate my left hand, push back, turn, my right hand is at my chest level, my left hand is to the side, and now I change to the heel edge, and I rock 30% as I come up with the left hand and down with the right. Empty steps, ball, uh, heel of the foot. Left brush knee. I'm going to rotate the right arm, see the palm. I'm going to press over with the left, swing right and step wide enough for a bow step. I sweep with the left, arm in at the shoulder, turn square, strike. Now I go to right brush knee. I shift back to the middle and lift the left arm part way. I open the foot and turn the body, but my arms close in the center. Now I can see my left palm. As I move forward, the right hand goes up a little, left down, I'm moving forward, I swing and step. Now I sweep, and now I turn and strike. That's our right brush knee. Now we go back to left the same way. Shift to middle and lift the arm up. Turn the foot, look at your palm on the right. Move weight forward, swing, press, step. Sweep, arm in, turn, strike. Okay, now I'm on the left brush knee. I'm going to do hamstrings the lead again. I'm going to reach forward and step in. I'm going to pull back. My left hand is to the side, palm side. My body's turned. I change to the heel, rock 30%, come up with the left, down with the right. Now I'm going to do left brushing in. I'm going to move back, look at my right palm, press over left, step, swing, sweep, and All right, so how's that going? I don't, I don't know, I can't see very much, so I know for some of you that's a lot, that's the sequence. There's a lot of questions you can ask yourself. You do not need to know the whole sequence for yourself right now, it's okay to follow. Um, so first, let's see if there are any questions, then we're just going to practice it. Your question uh, might focus me in what I try to help you with, or I could just practice it with you a little and point out things to you. So are there, are there any questions? that anybody wants to ask about that right away. Okay, how are people doing today? You there? Okay, good. <laughs> All right, I know that this sequence is a lot um, in the beginning because you don't always know what's coming next if you're brand new. But uh, let's practice it some more and then we're going to practice, we're going to practice it one more this way and then in the correct direction um, so that uh, we can be moving together in the correct direction and I can move in the correct direction. So let's go ahead and do from white crane. All right, empty stance, 70% in the back, right? Okay, what comes first? 
as I start my little turn, my right arm, palm comes towards me, leg, left hand rotates. Right arm down, left back, weight goes back, press, swing, step. Now as you move forward, sweep out, polish that table, and then strike, and your torso straight. Hands strong salute, yield forward, someone's grabbed you, step in. You're gonna pull back, come back, turn, turn, push back on the ball. Pick up the foot, change to the heel. Rock 30%, left arm up, right arm down. Left brush knee. As you move your weight back, you rotate right arm, look at your palm. Swing your palm, wave to your friend, and step. Polish the table, arm into shoulder. Now, turn, strike. That's where you're delivering energy. Uh, right brush knee. Shift back and lift. Turn, look at your right, the left palm. Move forward, press right, swing left, step. Polish the table, turn, strike. Uh, I, have to, I have to translate where I am. That was right, brush knee. Okay, left brush knee. Shift back and lift. Then move, swing, and step. Let's see. This is left. Okay, hamstrung salute. I'm correct. Okay, hamstrung salute. Yielding forward, step in, pull back on that person, turn your body, change to the heel. I know you can't see my foot there, but 30% raw, and hands in the center. Now we're gonna do one more left brush knee. I shift back, rotate, come back here. Shift back, rotate, look at my right palm. Swing, wave to the corner, step. Sweep and strike. So that's our sequence. We're going to do it in the correct direction now. And as we do this, this is what I was talking about in the beginning. I'm going to do it uh, from this. This is my correct direction. I'll face you for a minute. Um, I'm in white crane. When I'm in white crane and I go to left brush knee, I go into my bow step. Now, when I want to do hamstrung salute, I have to stay. I don't want to bob up and down. I don't want to do that. I want to reach forward. And then when I come back, I also want to still be at the same level. Then when I do left brush knee, I don't want to come up and down. <laughs> I, I want to stay at this level. That's what we're talking about. And when I go to right brush knee, I don't want to go up. I want to go back and stay at this level. My knee's bent. I'm staying at this level. And I'm not coming up. All right, that's what we're talk I was talking about in the beginning. It can be hard at first to understand, but if you start to pay attention to it, you might start to notice places where, oh, I feel like I'm kind of lifting myself up. We're thinking about staying even. That's just part of Tai Chi to learn about, all right? Let's go to the correct direction. I am facing my nine o'clock direction, all right? So I've done white crane in my nine o'clock direction. I'm going to left brush knee, ready? Rotate, see that right palm, left arm up, right down, right, wave to corner, press and step. Sweep arm in and now turn and finish. Hands from salute. Somebody grabs you, yield forward, step in. As you push back on the ball, rotate the right hand Come back, or left, come back with the right, heel touch, rock 30%. Left brush knee, as you rock back, look at your palm, swing to the corner, step. Arm in, sweep, and strike. Right brush knee, shifting back, lift midway. Open the foot, look at your palm. Your arms are in center to nine o'clock. Move towards your foot direction. Press, swing, step, sweep, and strike. 
Left brush knee, same thing. Shift to middle, lift up. Look at your palm. Move forward, press over, swing step. And strike. Hands strong salute. Yielding forward. Step in. Push back on the ball, turn your torso. Change to a heel, then rock 30%. Left arm up, right arm down. Left, brush knee, back, rotate, swing and step. Sweep, and then finish your turn to nine o'clock and strike. And that's our brush knee sequence, okay? Uh, the brush, there are brush knees, not the whole sequence, but there are brush knees throughout the form, so you come to it quite often. But lute is one of the moves that is only in the first section. So when you do these lute, hands from salute, and you do them in first section, you don't see them again in the rest of the form. So it's just a, a unique move in that way. All right, so are there any questions, um, whether about a particular move in the sequence or the footwork? Um, that, that's one of the most important things is the footwork is, are you getting your bow steps, okay? So any questions there that somebody would like to ask? I'm seeing some people sh shake their heads no, okay. All right, well, uh, we will, as always, be able to revisit that. Um, but I think what we'll do is we will go on to start our next move because there's a lot in it. All right, so the next move, um, I told you in the email I sent out, you're gonna learn the punch. So this move is called parry, block, and punch. And I'll show it to you before we start to break it down. And I'll be doing it in my correct uh, body, uh, left and right, even though I'll face you to do it. So this is a move that when you, when you start this move, it starts exactly the same as right brush knee, which you just learned to do. So that's great news, right? And I finish in left brush knee. I look like this because I'm in left brush knee. So to start, a step, it's called step forward, carry, block, and punch. I, I start just like right brush knee. I shift back and lift my arm. I open, but my arms are in the center. But now it's different. I move forward and pull down. I'm doing something different with my hand and I'm doing something different with my foot. And I come forward and I'm turning and then I am punching and there's that punch, okay? So we have a lot of things in this move to learn about. There's different footwork and there's some different things we're doing with our hands and our arms. So we're going to start with the footwork and in order to show you the footwork and have hope it's visible, I'm bringing out um, something I've stood on before to help you see a line. The li my lines don't show up all that well on my uh, floor. So here's my line, my center line. So and I'm going to add a little bit of lace to it as well uh, in this direction. Yes. So I don't know how well you can see that, but I, it looks like it shows up a little bit. But we have this. We have this here. All right. So, oh, and I was going to do this. I have a few extra decorations to, I hope, make things visible for you. So, in all the other moves, I've been able to say to you, well, you start in a bow step and you're going to an empty stance. Or you start in an empty stance and you're going to a bow step. Now, in this move, we start in a bow step. And we are going to end in a bow step, but it takes us a little time to get there. It's like a longer journey to get there. So we have some extra movement in the middle. And that this extra movement is called a transition step. We do have transition steps throughout the form. They're steps that take us towards the next final position we want to get to. And so the transition step here is something different that we haven't done before. So let's go back and just talk about this line. When you learned an empty stance for the first time, so let's just take an empty stance. In an empty stance, I have my back foot at 45 degrees. And I don't know if you can see, I put a little tape here so you can see the inside of my foot at its angle. So my back foot's at 45 degrees, and my front foot, it, and, and it's on one side of this center line. And the center line is like the center of my body, all right? So I've got one line, it's one side on this foot, it's angled. The other foot is on the other side of the line, right? 
And it could be a heel touch on the other side of the line, or it could be a ball touch. But for now, we'll just talk about a heel touch here. And when I do that empty stance, I have a center line in the middle with my feet heels on two sides, right? So you already know that. This transition step involves a center line, but it's got slightly different footwork for the front leg. So on this step, I have the same back foot at 45 degrees. But my front foot, in the process of the move, which I'll be teaching you, will be coming on the other side at 45 degrees, on the other side of the line. So if I'm back here, and my foot comes forward, it's at that line, I'm going to turn it out 45 degrees. And then I move my body towards that foot because that keeps me aligned. And then I'll be able to step out for a bow stance and go into a bow stance. So that little angle takes me where I want to go. But if we just talk about this movement of side to side, we, we can keep doing it just as a practice exercise to practice going one line, two sides. So for example, I can be my back foot at 45 degrees. I put my front foot here, I turn it out 45 degrees. I move my body towards that foot. And now I'm going to take this right foot and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna bring it forward and touch one line, two sides. Then I'm going to move my body towards that. And I'm going to do the same thing here, one line, two sides. And I could keep doing that. I could just keep turning and putting my foot there. All right. So you can practice this transition step going back and forth like that. In the move we're learning, we only do one transition step. So let's just practice that again, doing those back and forth transition steps. I'm going to start back here. I'm still on a line, I don't know if you can see it. I've got my back foot at 45 degrees. Weight is on that back foot. I'm going to pick up what is your left foot. I'm here at the center and I step out 45 degrees. I have to go in the direction of that foot. I move towards that foot, my body's turned and I step. It's at 45 degrees on the other side of the line. I have to move towards it and step. Now my foot's over here on the left. I move towards it and I step 45 degrees and I move towards it. Okay, now I'm running out of room here so I'll just stop in a bow stance right here. But I was running out of room on my screen, all right? So the transition step is a set in the center line my foot's going at 45 degrees and it takes me on the way to my next step. So let's talk about what, where we're going here. We start in a bow step. So I will start, uh, I'll, this part I'll mirror for you, okay? So we're starting in a left bow step. So this is your left leg and this is back. And I'm in a bow step. So I have my weight forward, 45 degrees. My body is angled, but I'm, I'm facing forward, all right? So, uh, I'm, I'm in this, it's going to start like right brush knee. So I move my weight back just to middle. Now this is another place where uh, I'm just going back, I'm not going up. I move back to middle and I open. I have to get to the line here to make this work. So I move back and I open. All right. I'm going to follow that, pick up the back foot, whoop, and step. One line, two sides. Then I move towards that foot, pick up the back foot, step out for a bow step, wider, you have to go wider. And heel ball toe, bend knee. All right, so that's the footwork for this new move. We start in a bow step, we do a transition step, and we end in a bow step, all right? Let's do that one more time then. I'm going to do it with you, but I'm going to do it the right, the correct direction, just to make sure I'm getting your Give you the best example here. All right. So here's my uh, here's my bow step. All right. Oh, sorry, bow step. 
I shift my weight back and open that 45 degrees. Okay, now I'm headed there. I move forward, pick up that back foot, come forward, put it at an angle, 45 degrees, on the other side of the line. Move my weight towards that turning, towards it, turn, turn, step out for a bow step. We're just doing the part that's the actual move we're doing today. That's going to be the footwork, all right? Let's do it together again. This time I'm doing it my correct direction, all right? All right, so you're in a left bow stance. You should now look opposite than me. I shift back and open it, turning. Turn to that foot, move forward, pick up the back foot, come forward, step out one line, two sides. Turn, move, step, and go into a bow step. All right. Now in this move, you get help because you're actually turning and then turning and turning. That's going to help you a lot with doing it, okay? All right, so does everybody understand the idea of the transition step? That's what's trying to get you towards where you want to go, all right? Um, now we have to talk, there's a whole bunch of stuff to talk about in this uh, move. So, uh, so far we've talked about handshake a couple different times. And uh, you all know a variety of handshakes already. You know the open palm. And in the open palm, you have nice extended fingers and you have the round area that's got a little bit of a, a sinking part, right? It's not straight. And your fingers are alive, but not stiff. And you have little spaces, that's your open palm. And that we use that for pushing, right? That's one energy. We also use it when we strike, using the pad of our palm to strike, all right? So we use the open hand a lot. We use it, it's an open hand for a word off when I can connect with someone and see my palm. It's an open palm. You've also learned the hook, right? From single whip that our arm goes out, we drop the fingers and the thumb meets it and the fingers point down and that's your hook. And that when you're using your hook, you might be connecting with, you might be attacking someone with that part of your hand to their throat. You could also curl over and control them that way. But a hook is a different handshake, right? But we're going to learn yet another handshake. And this is the last one. After this, you know all the handshakes. And this is a fist. And in the fist, we, we, you make a fist when we salute. So you've already had some introduction. When we make a fist, we start with our fingers up, right? Then we close our fingers down, and the thumb comes over the front, between the first and second knuckles, just closes the front, and you want this part of your fist to be as straight as you can make it. If your knuckles want to do this, Let's see if I can do it. If your knuckles want to see how that makes it all uneven and they kind of poke out, see if you can make them. Mind you that sometimes, so you make it as even as you can. Okay, this is a fist. Now you want the fist to be closed, but you don't want to grip it so hard that you're sort of like white knuckling it. You know, you really feel like you're gripping. Your, you know, just a natural fist with a closure. It's very important to keep your thumb here, not here, because if you put your thumb up here your opponent can really break your thumb very easily, so keep it down here, all right? Now, when we talk about a fist, the top of the fist, where this hole is, is called the fist eye, like your eye. It's the fist eye. The bottom is called the fist, fist tail. And for a long time in Tai Chi, I thought it was fish tail, but it's not, it's not a fish, it's the fist tail, okay, the tail of the fist. Maybe there is something there, I don't know. There are a lot of animals in Tai Chi. So this is the eye and this is the fist, okay? And that's your fist that we're going to be using. And we're going to be using it to punch, but we have a lot to do before we get to actually punch, but I wanted you to have that piece, okay? All right, now we're going to talk about this upper body movement and there's gives a lot to it. And this is called parry, block, and punch. And parrying, so we're, when I've heard it before, I've heard it with fencing. 
but it's a move. It's a move where you're getting someone out of the way, you're deflecting them, or you're definitely preventing them from getting to you. And so in this move, we are doing a lot of deflecting. And when we deflect, we're going to be using the middle of the inner arm at first, and then later the outer arm. Because this is parry, block, and punch, and we're making fists, a lot of people think that the whole thing is about the fist, but it's not. For a while, the fist isn't really all that important, but we make it as part of the form. So what we're going to do is practice parrying with this part of our hand and then this. We won't worry about a fist. We're going to have our hand, what we start from a brush knee, and then we go to the middle. So we're going to start with talking about Oh, let's see, for you, it's your uh, right hand. It's your right hand, okay? It's your right hand. It would be like this, okay? So this is your right hand, right? So when we parry, and we're in this position that we're, if for, for right brush knee, we'd be swinging, right, and pressing. We're not doing that anymore, but we're just going to talk about one arm and parry. We have our hand with us, we have little bends in our hand because we don't want it like this. Because when you go like this, when you bend it, you engage the part of your muscle that you need to have that, that active. So just hold your hand up like this and have a little bend. And uh, you're going to be doing like a figure eight, figure eight. So when it comes down, your palm's down and then your palm's up. I'm gonna do it with my correct hand to make sure I'm demonstrating it right. So my palm is down and then it comes up and down, and down, and I see my palm. Now it changes. It's like an infinity sign in front of you, an infinity sign, all right? So that's what you're just practicing. Think about this part of your arm coming down, and now this part of your arm coming down. Coming down, outside of the arm comes down. Your arm's rotating, all right? It should be called parry, parry, block and punch, because you have two parries. All right? But when we do this, remember our arms are not isolated segments. They are connected to our upper body, so you have a lot of turning. So I, and I'm purposely not doing a particular footwork here, but you could, if you want to be comfortable, just pick up one heel a little bit. I turn and come down and come up. Turn, and that is what makes my arm go in that figure eight. Turn, turn. There's my figure eight. So when I go down, I'm to the side. When I come up, and then I go to the side. Now, watch. When I come up here, before I go to the side, I'm at an angle. You see that? I come down, I come back, I'm at an angle, and I turn. I come down, I come up, I'm arms at an angle, and I turn. So what I'm not doing, I'll turn this way for a moment, is I'm not coming down and coming out, I'm not coming out here. I'm coming, I'm in front of my body with an angle, and then I turn, and <clears throat> my hand comes back to my hip, all right? I come down and turn, come up, and I turn, and now my hand's at my hip with my palm up. That's the part we're gonna use in the move, all right? So this move has that movement where we come back here. All right, that's one of the pieces that we're going to be putting in there. All right. So let's talk about what the other hand's doing and the timing of two hands. So again, we're not worried about the fist yet. We are in our, I, I've got to do it this direction. I tried practicing mirroring you, but I wasn't very skilled. All right, so let me show you this and then I'll try to help you out if you need mirroring. So I'm going to lift this hand. Again, we're not doing footwork yet. I'm lifting. Lift, and this is push. I've got the bend. I lift it part way. The two arms come to center, just like right brush knee. Let's talk about just this one arm, which is your left. All it does is come down and swing, just like you know how to do. It comes down and swings. You already know how to do that. What is different is that the two arms together are both coming down and they'll both swing to the corner. So let's just do that much. So I'm in my left brush knee. My uh, left arm comes up. 
My arms are at center as I turn my body. I see my left palm. My two arms come down. I parry. And the two arms go to the side. And at this point, this hand is palm down as well. This hand is palm down as well. Okay, I'll try to show it mirror to you in case that would help any of you. Um, it would be like this. The mirroring is this. I lift up and my arms are at center. Now they both come downward. They come circling down. I see my right, I see my left palm coming down, swinging to the side and up. They come down and swing to the side. All right. So let's just practice that again one more time. I'm, I'm in my regular position. This is my left hand. This is my right hand. Lifting up. Close them at the center. Your body is starting to turn. I come down with two hands, turn, and my palm, my upper palm is out and my lower palm is facing down. All right? Okay. So we're going to put that much with footwork because there's a timing element here. So you remember how we do brush knees. If I'm in a brush knee and I'm going just one brush knee to the next. So suppose this is my left brush knee and I go like this and I move forward. I, let's make sure I'm not in the pair of like much anymore. I come up, swing, press, step. That key moment of coordination, two arms to the side and I step, right? When my arms get there, I step. That is like the close step, like in right brush knee, I close step with the heel. The close step and the reach at the end are the same concept, timing. Well, I'm going to have to do that here. So let's take a look at that. I'm in my left brush knee and I am, put, so again, I'm not mirroring you. So this is my right foot and this is my left hand. Oh, excuse me, I, I, was, I was mirroring you. <laughs> That's why the mirroring started. Okay, here I am. I'm, all right, everybody, we shift back to middle and lift up. This is just like right brush knee. I open, my arms come to center. Can you see your left palm? Now, as I move forward, my two arms come down. I'm going to turn and then step one line, two sides. Sorry, I'm not on my line at all. I didn't do that for you, but I turned and stepped. Let me get on my line. I shift back and lift. I close. I move forward, pull down. Turn your body. When you get there, step with the heel, one line, two sides, toe, 45 degrees. That's the coordination point for the transition step. So, Arms back, they get their step. Arms back, get their step. Okay, that's what we want to do. All right? Let's do that much. We won't continue with the arms, but we'll move into the bow step from there. All right? So start from your uh, left brush knee. Let me see where I want to be here. No, I want to be here in relationship to the line. Okay, you ready? Shift back and lift. Open body, close arms in your center. As you move towards that front leg, pull both arms down. Swing, step, one line, two sides. Now, without the arms, move weight, turn to that foot and step. And then bow step. All right, so that's where we're headed here for that. But now I'm going to tell you how this punch comes in, how the, the, the hand with the fist comes in. When we're here, this is my, uh, this is my right hand. When I'm here and I lift up and I close, that's just like right brush knee. When I pull down and I get part way, sort of halfway down maybe, that's what I was taught halfway, but partway, I make my fist right there. Okay, pull down, 
make a fist. I'm starting to turn my body down. So pull down and your fist palm is down. Pull down, make a fist. But I've got to turn and get over there. And so what's got to happen is I've got to rotate. I've got to turn and rotate. I pull down, make a fist and rotate and keep the palm down. It's happening a lot at the elbow. I'm not trying to make my shoulder do the work. Pull down, keep that stable and come across. Now, I have to keep space here. I don't want to come into my body. I have to keep space. So I'm here. I lift and they come to center. Start from here. Pull down and with your right hand, make a fist. Now turn, rotate, keep the palm down on the fist. Swing palm out on the left hand. Okay, palm out on the left hand. Let me see if I'll try to mirror it so those of you for whom that makes some difference. I am here and this is my mirrored left brush knee. I shift back and lift. I turn. Now I'm going to pull down and this hand, which is your right hand, will make a fist. And I turn, I'll be stepping out and I get my uh, hands out there. Okay, so that's the timing that we need there. All right. Okay, this is a little bit slippery. So as we practice this, I'm uncomfortable. So I'm going to move this. I'll keep talking about the center line. And uh, we'll put that in there. Okay. All right, so let's see what's going to happen from here. Even if we lay out the pieces today and can practice a little, we'll be able to pick it up next week. I still... Uh, let's keep going on this. Um, I wanted to do from the beginning, but I don't know that we'll have time. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about what comes next. So I'll show you what we've done so far from me being um, in the right direction. I lift from middle. I open just like right brush knee. I move forward, make my fist turn, step one line, two sides, foot at 45 degrees. What comes next? Let's watch the fist hand. As I move forward weight, my arm is in front of me at an angle. So now my weight's on the front. So again, I get back here, I step, move forward. I see my palm towards me, even though it's in a fist. Now it's part of that figure eight. I keep turning and the fist comes to my side, comes to my side, so that the fist palm is now up, all right? So if I'm just doing my high hand here, I pull down, make a fist, palm down, come back the outside of the forearm, turn and pull it to my hip over here. So it's in my hip. And if you can, try to keep your arm from either collapsing in or if you can try to keep it from pulling like way back on your body because sometimes people will do this they'll do this and pull like this but really your body turning will take care of it okay so arm in front pull down make this turn palm down turning forward angle turn and palm up by your hip, okay? Then we'll, just to finish this piece, when we get the palm to the fist, the fist eye is facing sideways. You're gonna rotate so the fist eyes up and you're going to punch straight from the shoulder. Here's your punch. So from down, fist eye to the side, rotate, punch forward, okay? All right, this hand has kind of the assisted role. It follows, it follows the other hand. So if we have two hands here and they pull down and you make the fist in the right hand and then you've turned and you're to your corner. When the fist starts coming forward and you turn, the left hand follows, they go together. 
follow. It's like a friend that won't leave you alone. Follow, okay? If, you, if it's following, when you come forward, there's a distance like a fist between, and it's to me sort of near your wrist, near the bottom of your hand covering that way. It's not way up here, it's not out here, and it's not just on the fist, sort of in this little spot in between here, okay? So let's practice that of the following arm, all right? So you have your two arms in the middle. Pull, oh, excuse me, I'm looking at my left hand. Pull down, make a fist, turn, swing palm, wave to the corner. Now, turning, move forward, following with the left hand, and when you get to the front, you're at an angle in front of your body and the left hand's followed. But now we have a difference. Now, as you turn, and your fist goes to your side, you push out, you strike out. It's a strike, uh, not, a, not a push like this, because you are blocking someone. This is a block. You are saying, don't you come near me, all right? So there's a yin-yang, there's a separation, one out, one back. There's a lot in here, all right? So let's do that much with the arms. Arms are in front, you see your left palm. Pull down, make a fist, Swing, wave to the corner, turn, come forward. Now, as you turn, block with your left and pull the, the fist get back to your hip as you turn. Your body's turned to corner, okay? You've blocked out, okay? So, what's happening with the footwork is another coordination. So, let me at least show you this. We won't have a lot of time to practice, but I'll show you. So, we're in left brush knee. You can try this with me, but I'll, I'll talk to you about the time. I shift back and I lift my left hand. I open to the corner, but my arms are in center. I move forward, pull down. Okay, make your fist. Turn, wave to the corner and step. And I'm looking to the camera because I'm trying to look a little bit. You're really looking back. Now, move weight forward. Left follows right. Turn, step with the heel. There's your next coordination. You're on the heel edge. Okay, we'll finish this here. I'll talk you through it. I move slowly forward, rotate, punch, torso square. My left hand is across from my middle forearm. My, you'll see my fingertips point up. This is a, a deflect hand in case I needed to get rid of someone, push them over to the side there. All right, so what happens at the end is, so I step one line, two sides, I turn, step with the heel, and at this moment, I'm like this, I'm out, but I have to now complete it. I do the same heel, ball, toe, bend knee, as I rotate, right arm forward, left arm in, out, in, out with the left, left in, right is back, right is forward, all right? So let's go through it, the whole thing, just to give you a feel, and I'm going to do it first this way and then in the correct direction, which you can see which helps you. So I'm in left brush knee, this is my left foot, so your left foot's over here. I'm doing my, after my left brush knee. Parry, block, and punch. I shift to middle and lift up the left hand. I open, I see my left palm. My hands are in center. I move towards the left foot, pull down, make a fist, keep the fist palm down. Step, one line, two sides. Move forward, weight, arms angled in front, left follows. Turn and step with the heel as you block. Now, as you move forward, rotate, punch straight from the shoulder, punch, and the palm is across from the forehead. All right. All right. Well, that is the introduction to Perry Block and Punch. This is a terrific move. It's a move that happens a lot in the form. And each time you do it, there's a little bit of a different way to get into the move. So there's a lot of transition steps.
So um, each time you have something new to learn about it. But um, I know that this is just the beginning. We will be working on it next week, okay? So we have just a moment if there's any questions or anything you want to ask at this point. Um, but I promise you we'll be doing this all next week. Yes, Michelle? Did you have something? Oh, okay. No, it just, it just uh, I keep forgetting, you know, which right arm to move down and around. And it's like, I know, I probably have to choose one. You know, up until now, I have mirrored for you all these moves. And today, when I practiced this, I thought, I just don't think I can get through it mirroring. I couldn't convince my body. So I was trying to give you, a, direct you both that, I apologize if that was more confusing than not. So um, we will practice it next time also in the correct direction so that we uh, will have that um, possibility that you can follow in that direction, all right? <laughs> but it is a great move. So I'll I'll do my best to help you. I'll, I'll make a decision and stick with it. I was, <laughs> sorry about that. All right, well, let's close class and um, we'll go from here for next week, okay? Okay, we'll thank you. Close it nicely. And here's your, here's your fist, covering it up, thumb in. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for a class with me again today. I hope it was a beginning for you on Perry Glass and Punch. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.